Who was the real life Thorfinn Carl Sefni? This summer season, we're getting an anime adaptation of the beloved Vinland Saga manga by Makoto Yukimura. Vinland Saga is set in the 11th century England and follows the journey of a young boy, Thorfinn, throughout Europe. What most people don't know is that the aforementioned protagonist is based on an actual historical explorer, Thorfinn Karl Sefni. In this video, we're going to talk about who was the real-life Thorfinn, we're going to analyze his life's journey, and compare him to his animated counterpart. A boy destined for greatness. Thorfinn Karl Sefni was born in Iceland sometime in the last two to three decades of the 10th century. His father was named Thord Horsehead and his mother Thorun. He was raised in the Skagafjord Bay Area, which is about right here on the map. His nickname slash surname, Karl Sefni, means a real man, a thorough man or something along these lines. At some point in his life, Thorfinn met with the famous explorer Leif Erikson. I made a video about him, so check that out after you finish this one. Leif's father, Eric the Red, had discovered Greenland, while Leif traveled further to the west and was the first to set foot on Vinland, which is most likely Newfoundland in Canada. It is highly likely that this fateful meeting was what inspired Thorfinn to sail to Vinland. Another major event in Thorfinn's life was his marriage to Gudrid. Yeah, <laughs> okay, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this surname. Gudrid will be his trusted partner and will accompany him in his journey across the Atlantic. The actual number of ships and settlers that followed Thorfinn to Vinland is under debate to this day. Some sources claim that there were 60 men and 5 women, while on his statue in Philadelphia it is inscribed that there were 165 men and 35 women. Regardless, the fact that Thorfinn and his followers brought women and cattle with them proves that they were planning on establishing a colony in Vinland. After a long journey following Leif's naval route, somewhere around 1010, they reached their destination. Is the adaptation faithful? Surprisingly, yes, for the most part, that is. Granted, this animated version of Thorfinn has taken part in battles, traveled across Europe, met other historical figures, and has a very specific reason why he wants to reach Vinland. But his life doesn't outright contradict the life of the real Thorfinn. The writer of the manga, Makoto Yukimura, has crafted his story with care and has done much research on the saga of this brave Icelander. For instance, the anime and manga opens in Iceland, where the real-life explorer was born. And not only that, but the writer makes sure to depict Thorfinn's village close to a coast, at a bay area, like the Skagafjord area I mentioned before. He gives Thorfinn's father a similar name, instead of Thord, Thors. Includes Leif Erikson, and clearly shows him influencing and inspiring a young Thorfinn. Yukimura is also carefully depicting the society, the traditions of the Icelanders, and the overall environment in which Thorfinn grew up. Karl Sefni, a man, an Icelander, an explorer. Finally, I want to talk a little bit about the influence that Thorfinn Karl Sefni had in art and in our culture. There are currently two statues dedicated to this amazing explorer. One in Reykjavik, Iceland, and one in Philadelphia, by sculptor Einar Johnson. Or rather, there were two statues up until 2018, because this one, the one in Philadelphia, was attacked by vandals, beheaded, and dumped into the nearby river. 
They destroyed a beautiful piece of art which was standing there for almost 100 years for some political reason. Ugh. The reason why Thorfinn is a personality that more people should learn about and remember is his spirit of adventure. His will to go to uncharted waters, to discover, to go where no man has ever been. And I think this is an inspiring message for us all. I could talk about Thorfinn's adventures in Vinland and the ultimate fate of his expedition, but this is a subject for another video, which I am planning to release at the end of summer. The ending of Vinland Saga. Besides, since the anime follows the events somewhat closely, I would be spoiling the ending of the series. And I don't want to do that. If you want to know more, you can Google Thorfinn Karlsefni and learn more about this glorious man. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing Vinland Saga content. If you love Vinland Saga and you want to see more analysis videos, I have an entire playlist for you, analyzing many of its central characters like Thors, Knute, Leif, and others. Leave a comment below telling me which character I should tackle next. I'm going to leave you with an Icelandic verse inscribed on the back of Thorfinn's statue. From the island of the north, of ice and snow, of blossoming valleys and blue mountains, of the midnight sun and the dreamy mists, the home of the goddess of northern lights, Thorfinn Karlsefni, Icelandic explorer.